Get out! The zombie island mystery! This is it! One of the unsolved capers! Hi, this is Mark Morell from Toon Barn. We're here at the 50th anniversary of San Diego Comic-Con, and we're talking about the 50th anniversary of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You?, which is now available as a complete series on Blu-ray, limited edition Blu-ray, on September 3rd, and I'm here with Kate McCucci, who hi. plays Velma. Yes, hi, how's it going? I've been playing Velma for uh, maybe about five years now, so I'm the newest edition as far as uh, the series, all the different series go. Um, but yeah, I am so excited to be a part of it because I've been a fan of Scooby-Doo since I can remember. Uh, I've been watching it forever, I think, as most people have. Yeah, I've been watching it my whole life, yeah, okay? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, so, so what are some of your favorite moments in the booth, working with Frank and uh, Matthew and... Gray? Uh -huh. Anybody else that I can think of? Oh, gosh. I mean, we, we once in a while we'll get uh, guest stars that are, you know, come in for, for a day, but mostly it's the three main cast who I, I, I am just floored that I get to work with these people. I mean, Frank Welker has been there since the beginning for 50 years, and, to, you know, to watch him, because now not only does he do Fred, which he's been doing since the beginning, but then he's also Scooby, and he's just, he's so incredible, and, and he's just really one of the best maybe the best that there ever was you know and so to be in the room with him once a week and record an episode it's just I can't believe it every time I get there I'm like this is I'm one of the luckiest jobs I've ever had in my life and um, and then Gray is so funny and Matt is so wonderful and and they're all so good and they've been doing it for a long time so I've learned a lot from watching them and I you know we have a lot of fun we laugh a lot like we truly laugh half of the and it's not a joke, like truly laughing, and then we have to try not to laugh while we're working. So, <laughs> Do you remember any of the Jinky song from Beach Bash? Oh yeah, you do the Jinky, you do the Jinky, I love it. <laughs> it's a catchy one. Yeah. And what would ever happen to Velma if she got LASIK surgery? You know, I think I think a part of her soul would probably be gone too. Uh, I actually I relate to Velma a lot. I I also wear glasses. I'm wearing contacts right now, but I I've thought about LASIK for myself, and I'm like, you know, I kind of like the option that I can wear glasses, and I feel that Velma would feel exactly the same way. Where, you know, she really the glasses really make the lady, and uh, she uh, she's definitely. I mean, there are many times where I can't find my glasses at night, and I'm like. You know, how do you find your glasses without your glasses? You can't. So uh, I relate to her, and I think she'll never get LASIK. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to thank you for joining us on Toon Barn at the 50th anniversary of Scooby-Doo. Thank you for having me, and thanks for being here. It's really nice to meet you. You know her from as a voice from DuckTales, Unikitty, Steven Universe. You've seen her in Garfunkel and Oates. It's Kevin, seen her in Garfunkel and Oates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, made her debut with Velma in 2015. She 2015, four years ago, she's already done eight films, three series, and four shorts. Welcome, Kate McCoochie. <laughs> And uh, so I was super excited, but it was at the time when I was producing and uh, we were shooting the Garfunkel and Oates TV show. Mm. Um, and so it was, I literally was working the longest days, and I, I said, I, I can't come into audition. Can I record and send a, a tape? And, um, and I said, I can't do it till Saturday, just because I was truly, like, it was the busiest time of my life. And I said, okay, so I made the, the recording on Saturday, I emailed it in, and then they said, okay, we have notes. And I was like, I don't think I can get to it till next Saturday. And they said, that's okay. And so um, they were very patient, and then I, I sent another uh, recording, and I remember exactly where I was when I got the phone call. I was standing under a tree in a park waiting to shoot a scene, and I was like, what? And I kept circling the tree, and I was so excited. And um, so, yeah, that's how I, I ended up being filmed. And then she lost her glasses. And I lost her glasses. Yeah. I, well, I do lose my glasses a lot. Like, I'm always just like, it's because I wear contacts normally. I, at night, like, it is a real conundrum. How do you find if you don't have your glasses. <laughs> That's a fantastic I, 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 I said, I am Velma. Like, this is the better part. I, did I ever tell you the story? 
great. I was at the store and I was rushing, I was rushing around buying a gift for my friend's birthday and I had like my high-waisted kind of bell bottoms on and I was wearing my glasses and my hair was, you know, straight and my and, and these high school kids were like, look, it's Velma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I am actually I, well, I yeah. I was like, that was kind of a very fun moment of my life. <laughs> really amazing to be in the room with him I, because you know you close your eyes and you're like well, I've been listening to this guy for my whole life and you know he's been in so many so many shows and uh, and uh, it was funny the other day that clip went around for the Lion King where he was like doing like growling into a, a bucket and, uh, <laughs> and it was I mean he just didn't make any animal sound and uh, yeah he's, he's just one of the nicest guys in the whole world and he also he drives a van every once in a while, that, and it's sort of like the mystery machine. It's not painted like the mystery machine, but it's like an older like van. And the other day, the other day when he was leaving work, he was like, "You want to see the van?" He like showed me, and it was like really cool. And then as he was driving down the street, I was like, "That guy is just the coolest." Like he ties me up and throws me in the back of that van. <laughs>